Good evening. Let us begin our devotion by singing the hymn Lord of Life and King of Glory. Lord, you are everything to me. I promise to obey your words. I ask you with all my heart to have mercy on me as you have promised. I have thought about my ways and my feet are going back to follow your instructions. I will hurry to obey your commands and I will not be slow. People who do not know God are all round me. They tie me up, but still I do not forget your teaching. I get up in the middle of the night to praise you because your rules are righteous. I am a friend of everyone that is afraid of you. And I am a friend of those who follow your guidelines. Lord, the earth is full of your kind love. Teach me your laws. Good evening, friends. For the past few days, we are meditating from Psalm 119, verses 57 to 64. In this section, the author of this psalm is very much talking about God's law. He uses many synonym. He calls God's law as commandment, precepts, like that he is using many words. But the idea is the same. In this section, he says, even if I am persecuted, I would follow God's law. Even people ridicule me, I will follow. In this verse, that is 63, he says, he talks about friendship. He says, who are his friends? Here he says, I am a friend to all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. He says, I am a friend 
to a person who follows your laws, your principles, your commandments, your rules and regulations. To such people, I am very close. I am their friend. As we live in this world, we also have many, many friends. We choose them. We choose them. Relatives are given by God. We cannot choose. But friends, we can choose. We choose our friends mainly based on their interest. If we have the same interest, then we will become the friend of someone. We will accept them also as our friends. That you must have seen in many places. If we have the same hobby, then sometimes we select the friends based on our hobbies or some games. If you play the same game of your friend, then that person becomes your close friend. In the Bible, we have some different ideas. As already we saw, David or the author says, his friends are the people, those who fear God and are who follow the commandments of God very sincerely. In the Bible, it talks many things about friends. If you turn to Proverbs chapter 19, verse 4, that we read, Wealth attracts many friends. Wealth attracts many friends. But even the closest friend of the poor person deserts him. This is the worldly standard. If you have enough money, if you can throw open great parties, many people will come to you. They will say, so and so is my good friend. In the Bible, we have one good example. The prodigal son. When he had enough money, he had enough friends. But when he was not having any money, he was not having any friends also. As long as you are doing well, when people think that you are not going to expect any favor or you are not going to depend on them, many times we can have good number of friends. They will love you like anything as long as you give. But the moment they start thinking that you are in need and you are lacking something and if they think that you are going to ask some help or favor from them, they may disappear. This is the worldly standard. In Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 5, we read, Friend deceives friend, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to lie. They vary themselves with sinning. It's very clear. Friend deceives friend. Do you have this kind of friends? Many times you might have experienced this. You might not have been deceived from unknown person, but you might have been deceived by a friend or the so-called friend because the real friend cannot deceive. A real friend cannot cheat. Only the so-called friends can cheat. They will be really longing to get something from you. The moment you are not in that position, they may desert you. They may deceive you because they are not your real friends. This is the experience of the saints. That is why it is mentioned in the Bible. In 
Proverbs 18.24, we read, One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Many times we talk about brotherly love. But many times we are deceived and cheated by our own brothers, isn't it? But if you have very good real friend, they will always love you. They will always support you. Whether you have money or not, they will be with you. We talk about all these things today in this evening. I want to ask you one question. Why do you love others? Is it because they have money? Or you are waiting for some time to desert them? What do you think? What is your friendship and its quality? Do you really love anyone? If you really, if people really accept you as friends, at any cost, whatever the situation it may be, do not deceive them. Do not deceive them. Jesus is our good friend. That's what the Bible tells us. He called his disciples friends. We are his friends. He will never deceive you. In this evening, do you feel that your friends have deserted you? Do you think that they have deceived you, cheated you? Don't worry. God is there. He loves you so much. Whatever your difficult situation it may be, come to him. He will never leave you. He will never leave you. That's what the Bible tells us. So with that hope, let us continue to love our Lord Jesus. Whatever the situation it may be, he would be our best friend and he would guide us. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for keeping all of us safe and sound. May your blessing be upon us continuously as we live in this world. Lord, many times we choose our friends. Sometimes we choose a wrong person. We are deceived. Then we get into trouble. Lord, we want you to be our good friend so that every time we can take your counsel, we can come to you when we need some support, strength, guidance. We can continue to live according to your guidance, which would bring a lot of blessing to ourselves and also to others who are depending on us. Not only that, Lord, help us to be a good friends in this world. Help us, let your presence be there with us so that others may enjoy our friendship and they may be blessed. We ask you to bless all our friends. Keep them safe and sound. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.